Hello cat lovers, how are you doing today? It is another Mixbox episode and we're showing you how to assemble our large cat tree hammock. Okay, so we're gonna start off with our unboxing. Let's go. Okay, so let's start setting up. First, we're going to start with the base. It will be the two biggest planks that you see. And um, this one is not the base. It has little strings to tie the hammock to, so you will not be using this one right right now. You're going to be using the base with the three holes here at the bottom. So when you turn it around, you'll note and see that there are no holes at the top. This is because you're gonna have to push your screws through in order to connect it to the threads on the poles. So we'll start with that first, let's go. So I'm going to take the screw with the flat bottom and then I'm going to push it through to the, um, the other side of the uh, base. And then I'm going to take one of the 50 centimeter rods and I'm just going to screw it together. Okay, and then on the back of the base, there will be two connectors. So you're gonna put another 50 centimeter on the back base. That one. Okay, so one thing to note is the different kinds of screws that we have. This is an A screw and a B screw. So the shortest screws you'll be using for all of the connections, except when you get to the, um, the entry box where the cat goes in and you'll be using the B screw. And then you also have this screw that has no um, flat ends and then this will be used between threads and I'll show you just now. So for the base, you'll be using the A screws and then I'm just going to connect the 50 centimeter right here at the back. So you're just gonna keep on turning until um, it feels quite stiff. It um, does turn quite a few times. So just keep on turning until you feel like it is really connected. Okay, so right now you can see the 50 centimeter poles. Um, two of them are connected, one at the center and then one at the back. Then we're going to turn it around and then you'll see there is another hole slot over here at the top. We're going to be placing the 30 centimeter pole in here with an A screw. So let me show you how to do that. Again, you'll take a, a, a centimeter screw and then you're going to just push it through. And then for this tutorial, I'm just going to show you another way to um, screw in the holes. It's just laying it flat. And then you're going to take the 30 centimeter, which is about um, 20 centimeters shorter. And then you're just going to screw that in. So the next one, we're going to be using the, um, the screw that has no ends to it. And we're going to be using our first deck with the two strings. And then you'll see right here is an opening. You can push it through. Just like that. And then what you're going to be doing is you're going to place the deck. We'll screw that in until you feel that it is tight again. Okay, so round about now it is tight enough and then you're going to take the 15 centimeter pole and then you're also going to screw that into the deck on top of the deck. Just like that. So we're going to be having your deck showing to the front side and then you can just let the strings hang for a bit. So I'm going to show you how to connect the ladder in a second. Okay, so here, grabbing the ladder, we're going to connect these strings 
through the hole and then just tie that up so that your cat has a cute ladder to climb up. Connect these together. has a ladder. Okay, so we're going to be starting with the second deck. You're going to be taking the second um, screw that has no flat surfaces. Then you're going to place it onto the thread that we just placed the, um, the ladder on and just going to screw it again. Okay, so after setting up all of this, we're going to move on to the second base with the strings. So you'll also notice that there are three holes, and then we're just going to make sure that it connects to the three holes at the bottom that connects to the base. So I'm just going to place it just like that for the beginning, and then I'm going to take a screw without any ends, and I'm going to place it in the front of the sizzle. Just kind of kind of look for the hole, push it through and then connect it to the bottom over here and then just kind of fasten it with my fingers until it is tight. So there it is tight. Then I'm going to be placing another 50 centimeter pole to the screw without any ends and just kind of, again, roll with it. Okay, then the next step, what we're going to do is we're going to be placing the box. So when you just turn it around, you'll see that there is a hole over here. That will be connecting to the pole at the back of the unit. So first thing we have to do is just connect another A screw to the front. Um, the first thing we're going to do before connecting the box, I'm just going to lift up and screw another A screw into the, um, the front. And I'm going to be using the screwdriver for this. It's quite easy and quick if you use a screwdriver. Then, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be placing the box in a straight line and then we're just going to feel where on the inside, where the hole connects. And then this is where we use the B screw. So we're going to be placing the long B screw at the back where you can feel the screwdriver connects. So I'm just going to push it through. I'm going to be taking the screwdriver just to quickly fasten it here at the back. Okay, so right now I'm just searching for the other hole that's right here in the center of the unit and then I'm going to just place the uh, last 50 centimeter pole on top and then connect another A screw at the bottom. Just place the thread and start turning. So now we're gonna connect the squares. Right here you'll see one with a little dingy toy and then a plain one. We're gonna start with a plain one and place it on the left side and then again use an A square um, an A screw just to push it through and then reconnect it again using the screw. So pushing it through, connecting it to the rod, and then I'm just going to use a screwdriver for this one. And then second last part is connecting your toy right over here to this scratching post kind of um, pushing it through again, like that. Connecting, 
then I'm just going to connect the screwdriver again because it is quick and efficient and just connecting it all the way through so you can have the the toy hang anywhere you want I'm just gonna put it here in the front okay and then the last part is to hang the hammock right at the bottom so let's do that quickly as the ladder we're going to connect the hoops through I'm just going to fasten it like this 